keeping your receipts can be valuable, but the real power comes when you can work with your data in HLedger. So let's make quick work of this task with IADD. One simple way to start IADD is like this. IADD defaults with today's date. In this example, that's good enough for us, so we press Enter. The first receipt is for Landlady Lucy. We've paid Landlady Lucy previously, so IADD makes it real easy to find. We type L, A, that's the only choice, it's highlighted. We press Enter, and we're done with this step. Because we previously characterized expenses to Landlady Lucy as expenses rent, IADD gives us this as the default. Good enough for us. Enter. Done. Our rent payment is the same as last time, so the next three values we can just accept. Is there anything to enter for an account three? No. We're done. We press Enter, leaving that blank. Now we check if our transaction looks good, add it to the journal, or not. For our next example, let's try something just a little more complicated. It's a receipt from last month, and of course it has a different amount than we spent previously. So we start IADD, and we type 28 to get the 28th of last month. That looks good. Press Enter. The description was the Delta Supermarket, DE, gets us enough to get the Delta Supermarket. Enter, good for that. Expenses, groceries, enter. The amount is different. We put in the new amount. And we used our ABRA card for that, so we press Enter there. Nothing in account three. We press Enter. Press Enter to save it. And Control D, and we're out of IAD. For our last example, let's try entering a receipt for a place we shopped at the first time. So we start IAD as normal. Now the date is a little different from today's date, so we enter enough of that to get the date, enter. And we shopped at Epsilon Supermarket, so it's not in the system already. We have to type the entire name, oh, so slow. Finally, we're done, enter. It's a grocery expense, yes, press enter on that. The amount, enter. The machine guessed correctly that it's the ABRA card, enter. The other amount is correct, nothing for account three. Press enter to save it. Control D to exit IAD, and we are done with this. Those three examples should give you a good idea how IAD works. To learn more about IAD inside of IAD itself, press the F1 key, which brings up the following help screen. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.